Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here with you. All right, we are going to make dessert crepes. As you can see, we have some bananas, some strawberries, some raspberries, and this is cream cheese and marshmallow fluff. We have some Nutella and we have some salted caramel and Hershey syrup and some whipped cream, Cool Whip, whatever you like. So let's go ahead and take off our G Shield. So anyway, we've let the, the top heat up. I'm gonna go ahead and move this all the way to max low. And I'm gonna do something different. I try to do things crazy all the time just to try it out. But I'm actually gonna take the bananas and I'm just gonna try this with half of the bananas. I'm gonna put them on the griddle top. And let's caramelize the bananas. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of the butter oil, just a little bit. All right, so I did just half of the bananas. I'm not gonna do the strawberries, that doesn't, mm. homie, homie, homie don't think that that would be very good. So, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and flatten the bananas out. Now that I've done the crepes in the past, where the other one I did, that was the first time, I know exactly what to do. So, you saw what we did to create the crepes? Here's our batter. You don't have to be so nervous about, oh, there's holes or, because we just let it cook just for a little bit. And once that firms up, we'll just take it and lightly. And look at how that works. You can't do that in a frying pan. And now, oh, we took it in the house, so we're gonna have to use another scraper to just scrape off. And then we pat it down. It's like a magic healing brush. Now, if we wanted to, and actually I'm gonna ask Griddle Master Junior Junior's here. Um, go and ask mom for the sugar and cinnamon uh, shaker. I'm gonna sprinkle that on the bananas. So we'll caramelize them with cinnamon sugar. Sounds good. That's how it works, on the fly. Just, there's so many things you can do and with a griddle top, oof, it's endless. Now you couldn't do this where you rub across the crepe if you're doing it inside in on a frying pan. And I don't know if this camera's picking up, but if you can see, there's a hole right there. I could literally just take and just let a little bit drip right there. Okay, so the crepes are only like two minutes on each side. Now, because I have the heat so low, I don't have to worry about the bananas burning. They, they can literally probably stay there easily five, seven minutes on each side. We're gonna find out together. Actually, you know what, let me just turn one over. 
There you go. Can you see? Is that a better? I don't know if that's... So it's just barely getting brown. So, I'm going to send that one over. I'm going to move these all over. I have all this space. I might as well use it. She knows. She smelled them. From all the way back here. Yep. She got up and she she walked this way, walked all the way around. She, and her nose is going crazy. She's looking for him, yeah. My brother just came in the front. I could I know my my uh, good master junior junior David just said my brother got here and and Trisha knew her nose started going crazy. She smelled him coming. Hey, boy. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> and here's Trisha. Yeah. I'm doing crepes. Are you? You come see. How's it going? So there's my brother Ray. Hey, everybody. He heard I was cooking. He wanted some free food. <laughs> Of course. No, I gave him a call. He just got done. It was raining all morning, and I called him because I was cooking a whole bunch today. And I invited him over, but I called him, and I, and I knew not to call him because he plays golf on Sunday morning. And so I just called because it's raining everywhere. He goes, no, I'm still playing. I'm on the 12th hole. I remember those days. It didn't matter. That felt good. All right, I'm going to flip the uh, bananas. I'm trying the bananas to just caramelize them a little. You know, I've never tried it like this. Like a sweeter? Yeah, I think so. And I put some cinnamon sugar on them. So I only did half, half of the bananas like this. I figure if it didn't taste real good, then no sense in ruining all of it. So, so we just let my, my brother know that my oldest dog had passed away. Um, my wife and I, Mrs. Griddlemaster, we went, uh, we met in Hawaii, as you all know, and that's where we go. We, so we went there for 10 days. Griddlemaster Jr. Jr. is there watching the house and watching the three dogs. And, and Susie, the older dog, she's, her back legs are given out and she wasn't doing too well. So we told him, give her some better food, but you know, more that an old dog would, would eat. And so she was doing better. So, but, but she was losing a lot of weight, looking thin and, well, we got home. We got home from 24 hours of, of, of flight. You know, it's a long trip from the East Coast to uh, Hawaii uh, time. So we got home, We're, we said hi, we fed the dogs. They all ate, even Susie ate. We went to sleep, we woke up, she had passed away. She just waited for Mrs. Griddlemaster to get home. Uh, that's all she was holding out for. So that was pretty special, sad, but also special that um, Mrs. Griddlemaster got to say bye. So it, it helped her feel a little better, but. Okay, so I'm gonna take the bananas off. These kind of remind me of, uh, man, I don't even know what I'm called. What they're called? I'm, I'm, I'm from from Miami. Plantains. Uh, yeah, the plantains, the sweet plantains that they do. But these are regular bananas, but they have the cinnamon sugar on them. All right, everything's off. I'm gonna go ahead and take and get some more plate. So let's um, put some bananas. Some strawberries. Now this is what you could do. Whatever, whatever type of fruit you like, dessert stuff you like. Um, again, this is um, cream cheese. 
and marshmallow fluff combined. Amazing. It's just, it's just 50-50. Whatever amount you use of cream cheese, use of that of, of marshmallow fluff. Let's let Ray be the guinea pig, huh? <laughs> Make sure you fold the bottom. Let, let him know how it tastes. Do you want a fork? No, you gotta use his hands. We want him to get messy. You can come over closer. You want me to hold the plate so you can fold the bottom up or it can go all on your shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that boy going to town. There you go. <laughs> I think he just gained a couple pounds. Wow. That is amazing. It's always better when somebody else makes it for you, too. What? <laughs> All right, awesome. so I'm going to make another one. Wow, it's not sweet, either. It's not real sweet. That's the whole idea. Wow. I can't help but lick my fingers. <laughs> Man. Alright, go give this to Mrs. Griddle Master. Tell her we need her to come out and report on it. Actually, you know what? Let me do this. Aesthetics. So, crepes. Something you can do so fast, so easy. And it's a fantastic dessert. You can do Caesar salads. You, you, can, you can do crepes and store them you know, two days up to two, maybe three days in the refrigerator so you could pre-make them and then just have this stuff in the refrigerator and make it when you're ready to eat. And just make sure you separate the crepes with wax paper so they're easier to, to peel apart and, and to build. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, crepes on a Griddle Master Griddle Top. You too can can convert your barbecue so you don't have to have another device outside in your backyard. You can take the grates out of your barbecue and we'll custom make you a griddle top. So hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and that way you get notified. Griddle Master Joe, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.